What is up everyone, Casey here and welcome back to the channel. So today we will be doing a first impressions video of Valkyrie Elysium, the new game from Square Enix. Now this game just recently released, but this is the first time that I'm playing it. We'll be playing the demo version today. Um, I've been super excited about this game uh, for a few months now, so let's dive right into it. We'll just do uh, normal difficulty. Now, I've never actually played a Valkyrie game before, um, any of the older ones from Square Enix. I haven't played the mobile game. I don't really know much about uh, the Valkyrie games. I just know it's uh, based on Norse mythology, which I think is pretty cool. I've always been into mythology, especially Norse gods and things like that. Um, so, I think this will definitely be right up my alley and it is a action RPG so pretty pretty stoked about that Now, I know this demo, you can play through the entire prologue and all of chapter one. Um, for the for the sake of time and video length, we will probably just be doing, we'll probably do the whole prologue and maybe part of the first chapter, but we will not do all of it because I think it's at least two to three hours long. But we'll do enough to where we can get a gist of the story and the gameplay. Um, but I am very excited to play this for you guys. And for anyone who doesn't know, um, your save data from the demo will actually transfer over to the main game when you buy it. So that's pretty awesome as well. And you're already getting so much lore up front, which is great, because a lot of RPGs anymore, you kind of have to learn it as you go. And I feel like they don't really tell you anything right off the bat. But Square Enix is usually pretty good about that. It's actually one of my favorite, um, favorite companies, so pretty excited about this. I think I think graphically it could probably it could probably use a little bit. I mean, I'm sure the PS5 version I'm not sure if they actually are coming out with the PS5 version itself, uh, 60 FPS, but 
I think graphically the setting itself looks fine, but I think the character uh, ups herself just kind of looks. Um, I don't know. It's very grainy, I feel like. Soul Chain. Okay, so this said must be like the tutorial part. So Odin's going to teach us our basic skills. Quadra Slash. The music is pretty good so far. It's about what I would expect from a, a game. A game like this, so. Which Square Enix has always been pretty good with their scores in their games. Um. I'd say one of my favorite scores is probably a Final Fantasy XV. Um, that has a really good score. Slash kick. Where's another enemy? There we go. Final slash. There we go. Pretty good combos. Health gauge. Okay, so target lock on. There we go, get that final slash in there. So took care of all those enemies. So we got Soul Chain. I think Soul Chain is a pretty good feature um, to get to different areas. Okay. Alright, so we can summon uh, dead warriors, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so that guy's got a lightning element. Um, this one is ice. Ice and wind. So I'm assuming different enemies have elemental weaknesses as well. Which that's a, pretty much a given with elemental magic in most games. So they do stay out and fight with you for a while, so that's pretty cool. Divine Arts. So I guess Divine Arts are like magic, I guess. Okay, that's cool. It kind of like chains the magic between enemies and spreads the damage around. That's pretty awesome. 
And it can also paralyze, so... Arts Gauge. Okay, so far this is pretty, pretty cool. Puzzles. Okay, so we lock on... And that creates an ice platform. Oh, wow. Okay. It's pretty cool. Of vital importance. I hear you, Odin. Superior divine art when the elemental effect is active. Okay. So pretty much if you've already hit them with it and they're weak to it, I guess. I guess it increases the damage the next time around you use it, I'm assuming. That's what it seemed like. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it definitely does increase it. I would say it probably increases the chance of them being paralyzed by the lightning, too. If I had to guess. Combat is definitely very addictive so far. I kind of wasted that. It's okay, though. Okay, so another puzzle. So I'm assuming we use the lightning summon. Oh, yeah. Magic gem times 10. Awesome. So let's press on. I can't wait to see what a boss fight looks like. I, I know I know virtually nothing about this game, so playing it for the first time is kind of surreal. Okay. Um, how original. I'm confused. Was that not what I was supposed to do? It's not breaking it. Oh. Okay, so I didn't have it locked on. Well, that's kind of dumb. I feel like you should be able to break it just by sending him after it. Whatever. Okay. Where was I supposed to? Oh, Soul Chain. Duh. I was like, where is it pointing me to go? Okay. So, is there a boss up here? Combo gauge.
Okay, so fire's elemental weakness um, is ice. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. It's like literally shooting out things to give to us. Cool. 81 combo finish. That's pretty good. So I wonder if there's like a skill tree or anything like that. Okay, so I know we can use Soul Chain. Figure that out already. Okay, took those guys out. So you can't pull them to you, but you can go to them, I guess. Grab this chest here. Gym. Oh. Totally thought they were all dead, but apparently they're not. Okay, so the gates are open now. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you've ever played a Valkyrie game um, from Square Enix. And let me know what you think of it, if you recommend any of them. More of those puzzles. Not to tell me twice, Odin. So I wonder, do we get souls of like fire and other elements as well? I would assume so. There's four slots, so I would think that you would get at least four. Probably no more than that. Oh, we're just racking up those combos there. Okay, so we should be able to move on now. 
I'm thoroughly enjoying this game so far. Um, you know, and I used to never like action RPGs as much, but over the last I mean, eight or nine years, I've really just become fascinated with them. I still like turn-based RPGs even better, but I do really like these. Another dragon. Okay, so the dragon's elemental weakness is ice. Okay, so that must be where we're headed to. such fluid combat like I just I love it when everything flows well uh, graphically I think that they could have been a little bit better about it but so far combat's pretty great and the music's good too So I'm assuming this is the boss of the prologue. The final obstacle, obviously, you would automatically assume it's some type of boss. Holy hell. Look at this guy. He kind of reminds me of Titan from um, Final Fantasy XV. Just with a sword and kind of like armor on him. Okay, so the cinematics look great. Elemental Crush. Okay, so he's immobilized for a certain period of time, so can we just beat the crap out of him? And it's giving us gems repeatedly. Okay, so he's not too bad. He's immobilized. Okay, yeah, so let's finish him off now. I'm 
Is that it? Okay. I'm honestly kind of disappointed a little bit because I thought it was a cool fight, but it should have been longer. Like, I felt like we just str strung a bunch of combos and failed on him for the most part, which I guess is what you want to do in a boss fight, but I just felt like it was too quick for me. Um, maybe on hard mode, probably not, but for normal, I felt like that was more of an easy mode kind of fight. Um, it is what it is, though. It, it was a good fight, though. It was a good enemy. He only hit me a couple of times, but it's fine. I do like that you can immobilize them for a certain period of time and just continuously string combos. So we are finally awakened. to Odin. He's not what I expected him to look like, but... Alright, so we are heading to Midgard. I would assume that we would get a fourth, a third and fourth spirit uh, to summon. I know one would be fire, but I'm not sure what element the other would be. Maybe earth? Hmm. Belzean territory. I guess it's how, you're, how you say that. I'm not really sure. Don't need to review tutorial. Okay, Valkyrie. Okay, so we do have a skill tree, guys. Uh, I did die. 
Okay, so if you fall off and die, you lose health. Which I, I feel is fair. That's, that's pretty fair. There's no walls protecting us now. If we, you fall, you fall. Hollow blossoms. I wonder if they give us an ice spell for our divine arts in this chapter. We'll play through this chapter a little bit just to see what else they add. Camera's kind of wonky at times, too, I feel like. Alright. We are at the castle. Take out these guys first. Alright, so we do have gate open now. Okay, so pretty much each of these flowers is a person's soul and they tell a little bit about their life, I guess. Uh, that's kind of an interesting feature. I know other, other games have done that before, but it's nice to see that little bit of a uh, little bit of lore going on. Okay, so he's weak to fire, but I don't have fire, which is unfortunate. Okay, so I noticed the enemies do a little bit more health in chapter one also than they did in the tutorial. So I would say probably the boss in this chapter is going to be a lot harder than the other guy. Which I understand. The other guy is just to kind of help you get acclimated and know your abilities and things like that. But Oh! Fire Lance, yeah. All right, so we learn a fire spell first. That's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and oh, we already got it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Weapon enhancement. Okay. Can save. Right. 
so we have two new slash moves. Learn skills, enable disable skills. Wow, I paralyzed all three. Right, guys I think uh, I think pretty much got a fair assessment there I mean we've uh, played for about 40 minutes I think uh, I think in terms of a first impression for this game I think that a four out of five is pretty fair um, I definitely do want this game in my collection I will play this game um, as far as replayability or anything like that I couldn't say only playing the first 40 minutes of the game, but I would say that, um, I say with the skill trees and weapon enhancement and just overall learning skills, divine arts, and you know, we have the summons. I would say in co terms of combat, this action RPG has a lot of things going for it. Graphically, I would have liked to have seen it, the graphics a little more updated um, if they do have a PS5 version coming out um, with it, with 60 FPS, I would say that would be ideal to get. Um, although this is the demo, so the final product, the game coming out, could actually look graphically better, uh, the PS4 version. So I'm not really sure. I can't really say where this is the demo. Um, in terms of the music, the music's great. The combat's great. Um, I would say that graphically, it's probably... One of the only downfalls I've saw so far. Um, but yeah, guys, four out of five. First impressions of Valkyrie Elysium by Square Enix. Um, definitely can't wait to play the, the rest of this game and add it to my collection. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a great day.